What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Elude Stalwart Plays. Today, we're playing World of Warcraft. I'm setting up my audio, you should be able to hear it a little better than last time. I, th I think last time it was a bit loud, the game volume was a little bit loud. So this time, we've remedied that. And uh, we need to get some more ambience because it's a little too dank in here. <clears throat> oh, bam. Bam some ambience bam and then i'm gonna keep it out of my eyes a little bit of ambience for those of you paying attention to that sort of thing go a little bit sorry bang bang i don't know if that's gonna be too hot for this that hot in here. I do not have a target. I do not have a target. You can kind of see me blocking it. I don't like that. Just kind of, we'll do it that way. All right, guys, you ready? Ready? We're gonna hide this preview over here. And I keep on getting hair in my face. Well. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's really go. <sighs> this is what the FPS look like. I messed up my channel. I didn't let my cranker go off. What's crazy is I lowered the game volume, but I, I raised my volume, and I just thought about the implication. I probably don't even need to talk very loud. I thought the last video I was talking kind of quiet, and the game volume was kind of loud. So I reduced the game volume and raised mine. You gotta see me sneaking suspicion on shouting. Let's bring it up to about 60. Oh. This is the last ring of this week's LFR that I gotta do. Gives me these ancient vault artifacts, and then I also pick up these, uh, I don't know where it's at right now. I also pick up these consumables, these draconic augmented runes, which I can use Master, for my guild's raid night. The invaders are headed towards us. I'll likely be pushing keys after this. I got, I think it's a plus five. Look uh, out, Algum's Academy. I don't know the name of it. Don't mind if I do. Um, right here. Keystone, Algathar Academy. This is a five. This week's uh, addresses are Fortified and Sanguine. Fortified just means more hit points. Uh, sanguine means they drop a puddle of blood that damages people. Where it's got pots standing in it. FPS feels pretty low. It's like we got 30 FPS right now. Really? Where's our off tank as well? Guys are 30. We don't need 
need a raid highlight, but so that'd be good for y'all. So we'll leave that on. Did it change? I don't know. Let's get him with the picture death. Okay. He's pulling. Watch your step. Concussive slam? I don't know what that was. That seemed painful though. Like it would have been painful. Like Watch your step. I see some pillars coming up the side. So I don't know what that's, that's a lion attack in front of me. I don't know what it means. Watch your step. Seems to have hurt. I wonder what the pillars are for. Watch your step. Stacks on me. Awakened Earth. Nature damage every second. I don't know if there's anything I can do about them. Stacks. I got two fire ones on me. Seismic Assault. The Awakened Earth is going down. Special coming. I need to move my stuff to the BBM. I got my bars covering my debuffs. I had that thought before, but I forgot. Oh, quick karma. Yeah, it's the karma. They moved out. What's your step? We could have helped absorb that. So, if we do get one of those uh, kind of puddles that are going to drop a pyre underneath us, what's your step? We could probably group those up with other people's. So that when he does that line attack, I can take them all out at once. It is not Calm. Help absorb. We got people dropping pirates. Watch your step. <laughs> yeah, I was in that. I saw him coming towards me. I was like, no! <laughs> Watch your step. I would have died on any other version of this. LFR saved me. He wasn't low enough. I could have peppered in a couple of abilities to try to get him low enough. But I thought the global cooldown would take too long. Just waiting is what took so long. If I would have got like a right and sun kick and then went into it, I probably would have got it. I'm talking about my touch of death. Level. I can do it twice. Sometimes I'll do it and then I'll get a free one afterwards. You get to do it again. But the nature of my mastery is that, and I think I even have talent to spec it out says that I can't use the same move twice in a row. I have to actually use the combination in order to get the full damage. I think I pulled back one. So I get I can may have waited over there with my cheap blast that way. And for anyone that's wondering why I'm saying Kamea Wave, it's cheap blast. The cheap blast. It's a cheap burst, right? That's what I consider my That's what I consider my Kamehameha. And then my fists of fury are my Duda Duda. And my beast down. My Kono Duo Dao down. And they're going to be dark and just standing there.
Aw, yeah. right? Oh, there it is! It's Benar. Benar. Ugh, she's ugly. She's ugly. Someone said, what's a buff? But pro spider tips. Don't die. We, don't, we won't need buffs. Pros. Uh, I don't understand the chest. Alright, here we go. Move to star. Move to star? I think I go this way. Stack high. Okay, my stack is high. I don't know how to not make my stack up. Okay, my stack is wore off. Right, back to attacking. Move the stone. Oh man, let me just put it right here. Oh, I'm still in the web. I don't know what happened to my stack, but it's gone now. I've only got one. I think uh, my movement ability took it away. I don't know. Maybe I have something that clears some snares or impairment effects. There's so much shit everywhere. Okay. I think we killed a little one. Come on, get a drink. Oh my god. <laughs> That saved me. I don't know what that was, but it saved me. I was not ready for that. Come on, get up here. Come on. Come here, away. Tiger Paw. Blackout King. Rising Sun King. Tiger Paw. Blackout King. It's still hard, right? Ah, uh. uh, get off. Oh! 
Da 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 Grief for the mog. Grief. Be cleansed with fire. Another time, my friend. This whole den should be cleansed with fire. Was that Malago suggesting that? One last boss, guys. This is the last boss of the final wing of this week's weekly LFRs. We've done the Primal Bulwark. We started with the Fury of the Storm, and we're finishing with Caverns of Infusion. Karag Grim Totem. This is that boss that does the different elemental things, I believe. We're restructuring the whole raid, too, to get over here. That is a uh, mage that's trying to bait people into pulling. Does he make it all the way? No, he didn't. What was he doing? You dispatched a few Did he make it? Things, nothing more. Now oh, he's gonna die. Doom. He's ice blocked. I think he, yeah, he died. What was he doing? I don't know what he was trying to accomplish. Is he just pulling everything? It didn't aggro the Hellas. It seems to be resetting. He wasn't trying to kill everybody. I think he thought he could sneak by. Maybe somehow we get with a roadblock or something. Too far away. to go the other way? I wonder what's over here. Did you manage to unlock the door behind us? Yeah, nice. Oh, Fernal, that's what he ran in for. He ran in to unlock the door. Dude. Uh, yeah. 
I was like, what is this guy doing? He sprinted through invisible and uh, I guess he was able to unlock the door. So what's that for an undead? You don't smell too bad. <laughs> this guy's a G. Gotta let it happen. Gotta let it happen. Just let it happen. Gotta let it happen. Gotta let it happen. Just let it happen. Just gotta let it happen. Letting it happen. Just letting it happen. Just letting it happen. Kono Diota. That was time stop. Kono Diota. Shit. Shadow deal. Shadow Diota. The world. Oh, the roll. I think the most important thing to know about this boss is that there's going to be pillars that are showing up and then lightning bolts that are coming down, and those lightning bolts are contagious. It's like five yard range, and if they get within that five yard range, you can zap and spread that charge to other people who have a five yard range. Okay, looks like we got another tank now. This is a transmogrifier guy. We still have some time on the Dio mog, so I'm gonna hold off. Ooh, is there a feast? Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna eat this feast. It's a hamburger soup, apparently. It's moo kick hamburger soup. Gonna have some hamburger soup. I'm gonna go like that. Oh, we had we had somebody, but the the other tank left. He, he was intimidated. Alright guys, it looks like we got a tank again. We got another tank. It's been some time since we last left off. But in the ages that we've we've grown to progress, um we've discovered the heart of Azeroth. Uh, now you face oh, the oh we're, we're, we're going, we're going. They pulled. Alright. Hame, I died Watch somehow. Your step. I died somehow. I don't know how I died. He has a bug on him. So we'll say, wow, you're not supposed to leave him in the middle. <laughs> you're supposed to tank him in a quadrant. It's gotta tank him out of. So what's that? I got the pull? I don't know. I'll just hold him there and fuck it. <laughs> healers adjust. <laughs> They're like, keep him in. Healers will adjust. Alright, we're going Ichigo Kurosaki from the Soul Society now. We died. Now we in the Soul Society. We're gonna have to go Bankai. Alright, let's see what it is. 
Bloodstone pool, going fire, ice, water, lightning. Okay. When you say you're retiring, go. I don't know what that means. Gotta let it happen. Gotta let it happen. Oh, this is a screenshot if I've ever seen one. Yes! We're recording, right? Okay, yeah, we're recording. I think I interrupted my cricket. Oh, okay. Watch your step. Kamehameha. Watch your step. I'm supposed to have raid highlight on, but I don't want my player high lit. I want to be high lit. I want to be high lit. Watch your step. Watch your step. She burst. Activate hard. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, but I want out. Uh, I think he was there too long, guys. Watch your step. He became an ascended Super Saiyan. I don't think you're supposed to go back that way. He's Watch like, your Arr. step. Why is he keeping him in fire? His flame dominance is increasing. Oh, okay. 21% flame dominance. Watch your step. 23% flame dominance. Watch your step. I guess 25, you get him to 25 and then two. Because it's 25 per corner. Is that. Or no. The, it's just a matter of the tank not knowing or actively trying to sabotage. We'll wait. So is that dude you're joking, right? Okay, with 26 stacks, he's in the frost. Now he went mid. They got two elementals, one blazing and one frozen. I don't know if this is a kill. Half the raid's dead. Actually, there are no tanks. This might not be a kill. Yeah, without any tanks, I don't know if this is a kill, guys. Brain Dead seems to be holding it down, though. He's not giving up. Brain Dead's like, no, we finish this today. Run in. Run in? I wish I could. I, I really do. I wish I could. It looks like the DK's been battle res. I don't know. Or no, he hasn't. It's just a slow wipe. DBM said run in, so I started running. We have determination. Your persistence in the face of adversity strengthens your resolve. Damage dealt increased by 5%. Healing received by 5%. Health increased by 5%. The more you make me die, the more powerful I become. All right, we're started again. We finally got another tank. It took some time. We got another tank. It looks like we're getting a successful first pull. Or first quarter of the fight, it looks like. I think we stacked for that. Watch your step. She burst. Watch your step. Watch your step.
Watch your step. Watch your step. Elementals about to pop up. There they are. We follow right. Man, I'm taking damage. I was about to pop my uh, fortifying gear, but I'm gonna wait until if there's another little damage for space. Keeping in mind that I got that. Run in. Run in. Let's go run in where? Run in here. I figured I could almost threw a containment zone down. There we go. Saving the fortified. Watch your step. Watch your step. Electricity. There are going to be pillars we can kind of ground the electricity on. Then put the death range. I was like, about to, about to. Be. Come on, keep going in. Something burst. Come on, give me that touch of death range. Help soak that. It's kind of far away. Here's that touch of death. Touch of death. Touch of death again. She burst. I must get closer. There is no element I cannot control. I don't think we can attack him. We stay on Run out. Watch your step. Violent for people. I don't see that anywhere. Run out. Touch of death is not on cool down yet. That I can stay in charge. Too far away. Run away. And he's in touch of death range. He's gonna get that touch of death range. I cannot use that item yet. Kamehameha! That right in sun kick. Yeah, buddy, feel good. That's the way! That's the way right there, guys. That's the way! GG, yes, GG.
All right. So we can't Durag use that. And his creations. Whole arm, two-hander, looking like a savage. Give me that. Not Let me have that. Not and until we stop pass. Again. pass. All we need is the pole arm. Give me the pole. Ooh, 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 ooh. Creations, we got the pole arm. Will not threaten Look at this. Again. Look at this. We cannot afford to relent. Yes. And then we got a sulfic writ, frozen writ. We got something here we could put on it. Or we don't. We gotta go get one. Let's go enchant this thing. Peace. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace, y'all. Yes, we're gonna get a decent enchant. We're gonna get a decent enchant. Y'all want to see me enchant it? All right, let's get a decent enchant. I don't know what our main stat is or what's really good for us, but we're gonna see now. Okay, so there's a couple of options. We got wafting, which is permanently increases or enchants a weapon that sometimes sway the winds, increasing haste and speed for 15 seconds. That feels like what I pick because I'm a wind walker, right? But there's also Sophic. Enchants a weapon, sometime harnessing order, increasing your primary stat. Primary stat's huge for me, right? Primary stat gives me basically the magnitude of my attacks and abilities. Whereas Wafting gives me haste, which is a stat I could use some help on. And I feel like Mr. Robot would balance me that way as well. And it gives me speed. I feel like that's the way to go. I think it's Wafting. Give me that. Don't mind if I do. And then we got our racial ability here, cantrips. We summon an Eldritch Grimoire that we can pull our mail out of. And then we put that on our guy. A Wakmani, Grim Totem's Legacy. Let's see if it changes anything about the weapon when we put it on. Is there gonna be a glow? Oh, oh, did it do? It looks like it's, it looks like it may be windy now. What? I think it was already windy though. Wafting devotion. Ooh, he's so devoted. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, until next time. Peace, you'll get to see me use that next time. Peace, 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 peace. All right, transition. Here, outro. Thanks for watching, guys. I level 374. Thanks for watching, guys. It's out, homies. Waftingly peace out. Wafting. Am I wafting over there? Honor to meet you. Honor to meet you. What is our rep? Ooh, we're about to get to the next renowned rank of Dragon Skill Expedition. Bye.